Hello, welcome back. In this segment, I want to prove this theorem that connects GCD and LCM. Suppose you have two positive integers, A and B. A and B are integers, positive integers, meaning greater than zero. Uh, we can conclude that A times B is same as GCD of A, B and LCM of A, B. Let's take a simple example, A to B, 8 and say b to be 12. What is the product of a times b? a times b is 96. LCM of a and b is uh, 24, right? Okay, GCD is 4, right? GCD is the greatest number that divides both a and b, that is 4. So GCD is 4 and LCM is uh, 24. So if you multiply 24 with 4, you get 96. So this works at least for this particular scenario. But uh, in math, you need to prove for all possible A's and B's. So let's do that. How do we prove that A times B is same as GCD of AB, LCM of AB? One of the immediate uh, benefits of this theorem is that if you know the product A and B, and if you know GCD, you can compute LCM. So if you know one thing, if you know GCD, you can compute LCM. If you know LCM, you can also compute GCD. Uh, from A and B, you can easily compute A dot B. Okay, uh, let's say A is made of P1 power A1, P2 power A2, all the way to Pn power An. Similarly, B is made of P1 power B1, P2 power B2, and this, so on, Pn power Bn. By the way, the Bn's, Bi's, and Ai's can be zero. If a particular prime is not needed, then you set the power to be zero, okay. That's why I have only n prime factors for A, similarly n prime factors for B. Okay, all right, what is A times B now? A times B means uh, you will just add the corresponding exponents, right? Okay, so A times B is just addition of the corresponding exponents. So now comes a really interesting neat trick. If you have two numbers, uh, let's say x, y, x plus y is same as max of x, y plus minimum of x, y. If you think about it, it makes sense because max of x, y can be either x or y. Similarly, minimum of x, y can be either x or y and it cannot be the same unless the two numbers are the same. So let us assume max of x, y is x. That means minimum of, minimum of x, y will be y. So these are two different numbers and when you add them, you get x plus y. If max of x, y is y, you have y here and min will be x and x plus y is same as y plus x because plus is uh, commutative. Okay, so we will leverage this little trick and apply this trick to this proof. If you multiply the corresponding exponents, right? Let's say you multiply some pi, what can you say about the exponents? It will be ai plus bi. That's what you will be writing on the exponent. For each pi term, it will be ai plus bi. Okay, but you could rewrite this as pi is nothing but ai plus bi is same as what? It's same as maximum of ai bi plus minimum of ai bi. That is just a nice little trick I'm applying from this portion, right? To the ith exponent, okay? For all i from one through n. There are n exponents, so that's the reason I say that, okay? which means I can rewrite this as pi is power max of ai bi, min of ai bi. I, I, it doesn't really matter, but I'm going to just use min first and the max so that I can be consistent with GCD when I conclude the proof. So I'm going to put min of ai bi times now, right, pi of max of AI bi. This is straightforward application of exponent rule, right? Just when you multiply the exponent, you can add the, the superscripts. Okay, that's exactly what I'm doing. What can you say now about the ith term? Ith term is made of product of two things, min and max. Okay, this is true for all i. Okay, what can you say about this? This is how we compute GCD of A and B. Right, this is how we compute LCM of A and B. If you remember the proof from the previous two segments, we proved that LCM of AB is nothing but computing the maximum of the common primes powers. 
Okay, and similarly, uh, GCD is just taking the minimum of the common prime's powers. Okay, which means we arrived at the conclusion that P, okay, A times B means, A times B is made of P, uh, PI power A plus PI, right? For all I from one through N, we, we have the same structure. This is nothing but GCD of uh, AB, and this is nothing but LCM of, LCM of uh, A to B. So we arrived very neat uh, conclusion that A times B is made of a GCD of A times B and LCM of A times B. The trick we applied in the proof is that um, if you have two numbers, integers X and Y, X plus Y is same as max of X, Y and min of X, Y, we apply that proof. So we can split the exponent into min and the max part. The min part will contribute to the GCD, the max part will contribute to the LCM and everything is product. Okay, that's basically it. Thank you very much for your attention.